I am really quite stressed about the ride today. But then, when I really think about that, technically speaking, I actually just need to pedal half of the ride, right? Today, I'm cycling from Genting Sampa to Bentong. Total distance is 100 kilometers with elevation gain about 100, 100 meters. Definitely not an easy ride, but I'm cycling with few of my very experienced cyclist friends. In general, cyclist community is very friendly and approachable. People are more than happy to teach you and guide you if you're willing to listen. So today, I'm gonna have my cyclist friend to teach me one thing or two on how to survive our long climbing route. Morning, Rini. So if you're up for a long distance and tough climbing route, it's really important for you to know what you'll be facing. For example, for my ride today, I started off with a short climb, then followed by a really steep decline, which is what we call McDonald Hills. Then it's actually a very gentle decline all the way to Bentong, 50 kilometers. So you can imagine the first half of the ride is actually easier, and the challenge lies in the second half. You'll be climbing back from Bentong. By the time you reach McDonald Hills, you're already tired, the sun is already out, it's really hot, and and that's the real suffer, which is why for the first climb, I really took it very easy. And now we are now stopping at my favorite bridge. It's my favorite because of obvious reason. Jackie, can you help me to take photo? So you get some rest before you head down to the second uh, climb again. Enough rest. Let's go. If you plan to ride long distance, until you have your breakfast at least 30 minutes before your ride. Get some bread before you get down to the road. So during the breakfast stop, please make sure also you eat something. Or else later you go back, you'll be very very suffer. As much as you can, but don't be too full, right? <laughs> Remember to plan your routes and plan your trainings. You must increase your mileage before you go for long distance and tough climbs. Are you okay? We need to looking fine. <laughs> if you do not get bong during your ride, right? Teamwork is important. Try to hide behind someone. Hide behind Winnie. Yeah, that's her wind tunnel. Remember to include pit stop to rest and to refill the water. But don't rest too long. When your muscle cool down, easy get cramp during your ride back. So now let's go. Another 20 kilometers. Climbing all the way back. This is the pure mental trail. We are at 80 kilometers, 5 kilometers more to our last hill. And we are still climbing. On the way back, there's this group of Riders keep passing me by, <laughs> led by a female cyclist. So now I bump into her in McDonald's. Say hi. So now we are having our last stop before our toughest and steepest climb. Yes. <laughs> to climb at McDonald's. Yes, we're gonna embrace ourselves for that. Thank you. Thank you. We'll continue our ride. To finish off, we have to pass through the last challenge, McDonald's Hills. Wish us luck. Let's go. We are back to the bridge where we first started. Hi Brian! How do you feel? Die. <laughs> Later we're gonna be rewarded by the final descent. Congrats Brian! Congrats yes. on completing your ride. Climbing is one to die all. But now? But after that, nothing. <laughs> so can show you again la, this route. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure that, that I need to load a, a lot of carbo. Yes, carbo is really important when you ride. Thank you for joining me. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the ride. 
<laughs> hope you enjoy the ride. <laughs> thank you for the ride. And thank you for leading us and pulling us. See, See you again, safe. right? I'm finally home. It's torturing, but it's oddly satisfying to complete a long and climbing route. I think it's kind of a bittersweet kind of love. It's slow, it hurts, but at the same time, it gives you great sense of achievement and it's really addictive. Thank you for watching. I hope all of us learn one thing or two after watching this video. So stay tuned for more.